Hey guys, Capper here, and this is going to be just a quick vlog story of me getting back in the ham radio and taking the first steps to setting up a tower antenna and on my station. I used to have a general class ham license. Um, I got it in 1990 when I was in the Marine Corps. I held it for 20 years and then I let it lapse accidentally. So you're going to see me test for my tech and my general class and I'm going to show you how I'm trying to do things on a budget. I got a great deal on a used tower, a five band antenna and now I'm working with another another ham that I just met, a super smart guy um, who is helping me put the station together. And we're actually doing kind of an exchange thing. I'm going to do a little excavator work for him and he is going to help me with all the electronics because um, it's it takes a lot of knowledge and a lot of learning to do it and it's he's a great resource to have so let's check it out how this first leg of uh, getting my license back and setting up the station is gonna go okay so here's my road trip to pick up this antenna tower and antenna it's a 48 foot used Roan tower and it's a five band barely used antenna the beauty of it is the antenna is all tuned up already and built to the proper specs which can take a lot of time so let's get it loaded onto my trailer and head back home from kentucky back to illinois all right and here we are loaded up the small trailer will work out good provided the uh Super hardcore trooper don't want to nail me, but I do have flagging up here So this should be legal And one thing to note if you're ever going to do this by antennas It don't matter what kind it is you want to be very very careful on the antennas Okay, if you'll notice all them are is tiny aluminum uh, hollow rods So you see how he's got it separated up there All right, so that uh, these Antenna here. That's a ground plane um, Is not getting dented or damaged because this is all finely tuned you see all these connectors on there They're all exactly tuned um, for different frequencies. So You want to be careful as far as transporting any antenna Not to damage it or bend it in any way if at all possible Hey guys, Capper here, October 13th, Saturday, big day. I'm going to take my ham radio test. Uh, constantly trying to improve myself in different ways and seek out new challenges, so this is just another one. I am hoping to pass two levels. Um, first one is a tech, second one is a general. Um, you got to pass, obviously, the tech first, that's the main level, and then a general is a quasi advanced level so wish me luck Woo! I've been studying man this is like school again bam let's hope I can do it rolling all right guys wish me luck the big moment has arrived I gotta take the technicians test first it's a cool Saturday afternoon 45 ish degrees so wish me luck I'll check back in in a little bit thanks Talking serious suspense here. The three coordinator witnesses have to all grade it, and it has to be all in agreement on the grading. Oh my gosh, the suspense. Right. I've seen the terror you got. I mean, it's large <laughs> what do you say, Lee? All right, I get out. Passed the All tech right. test. Yes. We're, we're filling out paperwork again. The same now thing we're going you just for did. general. 
All right, and the news on the general class license. Boom! Fail, epic. Ugh. I'll blame it on the cold weather. It was 45 degrees and I was almost shivering. No, but it was disappointing. But the good news is I got the technician's class so I can start back in on the radio stuff and I'll retake the uh, general class here in a few weeks. So I gotta keep studying. Um, that's just how life is, but I'm glad at least I got the first layer down. <clears throat> Okay, here's a quick look at my Yezu FT920 base station. I got this used and I got a really good deal on it from a fellow ham um, who basically just helped me out and gave me a good deal on it. And I got a great deal on the antenna and tower. So looking forward to getting back up. I just ordered a 2 meter 440 rig which I'll show you right now. This is the 2 meter 440 rig digital and analog once again based on good advice from someone who has more experience than me. Okay so my friend Tom and I did an assessment of our uh, potential antenna sites here and we came to the agreement for the tower placement of right here at this little bump out seam. Um, it's gonna, since the roof is shorter there, we're gonna have less interference from the roof. It's a 48 foot tower. Uh, it's gonna be sitting on the ground on a concrete slab and I'm gonna add a 10 foot cheater pole to the top. So in addition to the five band antenna that I have, we're also gonna be putting up a two meter antenna and we're also going to put up a huge wire antenna we're going to be running the lines across the roof there into those pine trees and there's two other options we could run a line all the way down here to that hickory um, but another option is we run one of the lines over to those pines so uh it's going to be interesting, but I'm working on getting everything put together. Uh, I ordered everything for all the parts we're going to need. And so now I just need to work on um, digging that hole and getting the concrete set. Um, and I'm trying to keep it on a budget. I mean, this stuff is expensive, but just one example. I'm, I'm, I bought a hinge plate, so the tower is going to hinge. So it's going to be a lot easier to put it up. But there's 12 inch bolts at the base of the hinge plate and they want 20 bucks a piece for them at Roan. Um, so I'm going to just go to Menards and get the same size half inch bolts. Just weld a piece of rebar on the end in an L shape or a T shape. And I'll get them, you know, for a couple bucks each as opposed to 20 bucks each. And there's six of them. So stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. I'm pretty excited to get back on the air. It's been a long time. Okay, so I'm getting my ham radio gear together and I'm ordering almost all of it on Amazon. But uh, we took a walk around the tower and the outside um, antenna tower site and we made a list. We went in the radio room, looked over the gear. So I've got my list here of things that I'm going to need to put the whole station together. And virtually all of it is on Amazon, but I'm going to need to order one or two parts on a couple of other sites. But it's making good progress right now. <laughs> 